All right, we're on. So I would, you know, and if you do this, you have to kind of really do this like hardcore, like everything is recorded, everything's streamed, you know, so if you have like complete, so nobody can say like, oh, Arthur's doing this to just like get rich type thing, you know? So um, yeah, I'd have like absolute transparency and I would, you know, also be transparent on how much you charge for the services. So, you know, and also people should know kind of how much money they made for the organization or for the, for the collective. As a contribution. You know, make, yeah. as, a, as a contribution or, and not even thinking about that they can do this as a tax write up or something like this, I would completely leave this out, but that they have maybe more voting rights on which project you want to use your funds mm. for that the business makes that you want to solve, you know? And how do you quantify something like that? Because, I mean, and I don't know, that's, that's a separate problem. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it sounds a lot like that dot collector that I mentioned from, from Ray Dahlia uh, in terms mm -hmm. of people self, like self organizing the voting structure, believe, believability within yeah. the organization. Yeah, yeah, believe based, based on the, the, the subject. Uh, that you have um, uh, maybe you have to you don't have to break it down how much each individual contributed to it but maybe um, just be transparent on like the thing that they worked on together you charged this big company this much money for mm -hmm. right that makes sense and in terms of capitalizing IP do you think that's possible. And what I would not even, I'd not even do this. I'd like be more Tesla esque open source. Like we build, find good shit, like let the world use it. Okay. So basically if we do build some new like platforms to like host data or share data or like work with data, full mm -hmm. open source. Open source, but you can still charge money for it if you offer okay, it so, as a SaaS. You know? So higher, uh, like premium uh, consulting on top of it or something. Yeah. A friend of mine does Tilda or does it Melda? Melda? Is it that? It's like a guy who lives in Bodrum here. Uh, a friend of mine, is it Melda? He also does something with AI and big data. It's Melda.io, M E L D A.io. Modern Elegant Data Analysis. He's also big into open source. And he also works on something to fight Corona right now. So I actually should connect you guys. Nice. I think he wants to match people who had it. So you can kind of like do the blood, the, you can donate blood for antibodies for somebody else. So mm. you can get resistant. Yeah. yeah this crowd crowdsourcing and data sharing uh, is a huge thing. So here's the thing. There is a team that contacted us or like we contacted that I don't even know, but we had a call yesterday and they presented their vision and their vision is basically an open data platform and, you know, ability for any individual to own their data and mm -hmm. freely share it with any organization that needs it for research purposes or, or whatever. And they have been trying to work on it for years tried to raise money and obviously like uh, that was quite hard um, and basically this is the perfect timing for them to launch w whatever ideas they had and I think we're very well equipped to help them launch this kind of rocket uh, mm -hmm. to the orbit and the the question here is how do we properly structure this launch pad relationship and like, this is definitely exciting. What's, what's their, what are they driven by impact or money? Impact. Then just like say, Hey, we have to, we have to traction right now, roll it into ours. Become yeah. part of our umbrella thing. Yeah. I think that's going to happen. Uh, we, we have to figure out logistics and all of that, but let's imagine that we help them, you know, secure funding. Let's imagine we help them find uh, you know engineers and platform platforms and tools to build let's imagine we build tools for that like is that going to be a separate company is that going to be like 
I or, or it could be that you, your collective then has shares in this other business. Hmm. Yeah. Is is that a common thing? Like sh shares of nonprofits? No. Oh, share. Of, okay. Um, I see. I see what you're saying. It's also going to be a nonprofit. Mm, no, this doesn't make sense. Must be right. Mm. I mean, I'm going to pitch them to roll into yours. If it really makes, is if it's really such a good marriage, I'd say like, hey. Yeah, but this is going to happen a hundred times. Like, there's some exciting idea, guys that want to to do something amazing, and we can equip them with everything possible. And I don't think we will be actually able to kind of uh, absorb all of these teams. They have to live separately. Hmm. To give you another example, let's say that there is this hospital that comes to us and says, hey, we have so much data, we need to build something. It's an amazing project. We want to build diagnostic tool that all of the hospitals can use and stuff like that. Like, obviously, like, we, we can't really be... Are they, op are they open, sourcing it? open sourcing it or do they want to make money with it? Well, the open data project, definitely open source from, from what no, the hospital, the hospital, that's a tricky question. Uh, since in the U S I assume most uh, hospitals are yeah, private and that's not really like a socialism type of uh, yeah. system. Yeah. So that's you another, like, yeah, we, we can, we can help you, but it's going to be open source. Mm. Yeah. Makes sense. I wonder it's like you know, this is like you have to kind of have your your manifesto written down, kind of like you know what, what do we do? Who do we stand for? What are our core values? What's our not? You know, what do we categorically say no to? You know, so you have like an operating framework because, like you, as you said, there's going to be like so many things that will be flying at you, different opportunities, etc. And you have to just like have your matrix where you can say like, opportunity into our decision making machine. Tuk, 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 tuk. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's let's discuss it or fuck off. This doesn't fit to us. Yeah. Or change it to open source. Then we can talk about it. Yeah, it, it sounds a, a lot like we need a flow chart for exciting ideas funnel. Oh, it's just like your mission, mission, values. This going to be yeah. that thing. Yeah. Well, figuring out values for a globally distributed team of hundreds of people is going to be fun for sure. I mean, one value is transparency everything has to be fucking transparent you can already write this down so that couldn't be a value for you for sure um <clears throat> what's the other thing that you really have to do i mean social good or socialism or like you know impact yeah. in, impact open source you know would be another one um That's another problem that you'll face. I'll cover this real quick. And I think I, I really like own it. We built tr trust and own we will trust it through total accountability. It's one of my core values. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really important one for, for businesses. So when somebody says I want to do this, then you stick to this. Um, nice. choose love. We make, uh, make decisions out of love, not out of fear. It's my mantra. Um, yeah, I mean, simplicity, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, in our one. case, it's like simplifying complexity. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm already thinking about creating a, a podcast and calling it Managing the Chaos. So mm -hmm. it should, should be an interesting topic to ca to cover. Yeah. So in terms of like, yeah, values, and I think it partially merges into this mission statement. It's really about, um, you know, tr transparency, creating an impact creating something that 
anyone can contribute to, which is kind anyone of anyone or, or nerds. I think anyone, because we're beyond that nerds uh, circle already. Um, there are physicians, MDs. There are all kinds of. Like, there are also there are also geeks. You know, is it something where my mom can come and volunteer, or is it something that's yes. not more? And this is the weird part. There is this Randall guy who is a, a physician, an old guy, like I would say, like. 60 plus and he's joining our daily calls he's contributing yeah yeah that, that's cool yeah no 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 but i mean like you know my mom's a bad example because my mom was also was a doctor she was the medicinal director of the german fbi so probably not oh. a good example I mean, it's just like you know housewife mom is she contributing or is a gardener contributing my gardener here who who takes care of our, our property is it and can I he contribute? He can because uh, here's a weird thing. But also, like you have to figure, figure out like what, which problem do you want, really want to solve? Do you want to, you know, <coughs> you you're you have to be more specific because you're talking about big data, right? Mm -hmm. And big data and my mom have, I mean, or our gardener have nothing in common, right? So you have to be like more specific. Also, like in the minds of people, they have to see you as like, okay, these are the guys that solve hard computer problems, you know? Yeah, and I think- solve hard data problems. We have to focus on the healthcare, at least for now, mm -hmm. as, an, as a focus. I, I have vision of how this can be scaled to solving any tough problems in the world, you know, beyond healthcare. I even have this list of, um, I call it hardest problems to solve. Created it a couple of months ago before Corona hit the world, uh, but basically started listing out all the things like addiction, aging, consumerism, healthcare, depression, immigration, mental health, the food, business, like conscious capitalism, governance, transparent and fair governments, security, abuse of technology and hacking society, education, overpriced costs and access, scalable personalized infrastructure. Um, mental health, stress, depression, and anxiety, belief si systems, uh, capitalism, civil, living in outdated 500 old uh, year old cities that are not designed for innovation, hatred, racism, um, fear of missing out, uh, kind of a mental thing, principal agent problem for um, corporate governance, meritocracy, household debt, disinformation, clean energy. So this list is basically limitless. There are so many common enemies to unite against. But you have to kind of like for, first pick something that really fits and makes, you know, so you want to have a strong positioning. For example, Uber started out with black limos. This is why in their people's minds, it's a luxurious <coughs> thing, right? And later they have bicycles and scooters and blah, which is cool. But first you got to start out with something that gives you this specific thing. And I think you're like a, a swarm of experts that are solving the hardest problems of, of, of today. Yeah. You know, solving yeah. the world's hardest problems. Whatever the, the world demands, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ex experts, swarm of experts solving the world's hardest problems. So that's what I was thinking about healthcare being the, the ultimate uh, focus for right now and position this mission statement around that versus going, um, you know, full, full scope. Um, yeah. And is it like, is it the swarm of experts solving the world's toughest problems through data? Yeah. Data driven uh, problem solving. Because essentially, when we were talking about this nonprofit structure, um, Guy was talking about nonprofits that, um, you know, take, uh, take food, uh, package it into whatever uh, products and then send it to less developed countries. This is kind of what, what we're doing in, in a way. We're taking data from one place, packaging it, enriching, creating something out of it, and then delivering to the What's empty. it called, by the way? What's the working title? Uh, Corona Y. Just the North Star thing. Uh, agenda settings. It's 
So solving the world's toughest through data analytics or data. Mm -hmm, data. Just through data? Mm -hmm. Because analytics is more like actual, like looking at the data. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we are a swarm of experts helping Mission is like, you know, vision is actually solving the toughest problems through data. Vision is you know you, you need a tooltip here, kind of a placeholder example of mm, Yes, yes, yes. Um school of experts helping Scratch that add values. Transparency. If I would be able to type, this would be amazing. Uh, we can add this later. Then um, what was the other one? Open source. What's a, the better uh, understood word for open source so that regular people can understand it? Um, I mean, you're talking about data, data science people. They know what open source is. Yeah, but here's the thing, like, I truly believe that it's beyond uh, just data scientists at this point. We have uh, various people that are jumping in and doing things like even annotating the data or, mm. you know, helping us with communication or, uh, you know, HR in terms of matching people to certain skills. And those people are not even technical, like, at all. We have people that our gamers, we have people that- I do like this one. We had this for, instead of open source, we generally care about our customers and each other. Uh, we love sharing our good. No, this, this, was one like, you know, yeah. this was like my last business, Max again. So share the love. Um, we love what we have here. <coughs> There's some drama with the dogs. Oh, mm -hmm. if you, I can invite you to this one here. Uh, what's your email? Uh, a R T U R at collab dot la. Got the invite. Perfect. <coughs> How do I reach the 
Um, you go to groups. Okay. Then you should see Corona Y. Okay. And then you click on North Star. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. All right. Let's enable your agenda thing. What's level 10? Uh, level 10, I enabled the agenda. So you can, if you want to have a meeting with somebody, you can invite people into this thing and then you can um, just like talk stuff through. Mm -hmm. and, and basically, it's like meeting minutes. So nice. say at the end, you rate the meeting from zero to 10. Oh man, you um, know what would be cool to integrate with your tool? Basically, we we're running a lot of meetings and mm -hmm. we're, the best way to spread that knowledge is uploading to YouTube and annotating the, um, you know, the core um, parts of it and also identifying the actionable tasks. Um, yeah, so w w whenever, you know, let's say um, we just add tasks to you, right? Mm -hmm. The cool thing, the transparent thing is that in the overview, everybody sees the tasks that you have on this project and when you go to your me you see the all the different groups that you're in and the tasks that you have in them mm. nice you know so it's like i got got lost with all the different businesses that i'm involved in so i uh oh, no, why? Yeah, there you go. that's also part of the reason why i build it <laughs> okay so where were we in our start? Mm, what's another impact? Impact, yeah. We are impact and not you like that. Mm -hmm. What's another one? Mm, I would pick one about like this. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, let me tell you the, the high level concept and maybe we can transform it into a value. Uh, the, the weird thing is that no one really uh, cares about what you are doing in your like professional, professional life. Like we barely know the, the backgrounds and like the actual uh, skill sets. It's really mm -hmm. what you can contribute today and like in, in this specific environment. So yeah, I'm not sure if it's openness. It's like humanness because it, it's really about you being human versus this person that was coached by university and, you know, 40 hour a week to produce something. okay 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 so um what's it called not merit not um degrees don't count output counts yeah yeah, right? yeah. Results come, not degrees. Mm -hmm. And what's the title? Result driven. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you want this as a filter. So when somebody goes on your nerves, you know, like I have blah, blah, then you can always say, hey, core value number four, result driven. We don't care if you're a professor, doctor, we care about yep. the results and output. That's awesome. Um, the other it's like uh, always yeah. like with this thing you want to in, for example if you take like one of your model participants you know the traits that this person shows you can put them in here so we can get more people of this and then you have like the ones um you know for example i love own it um so suggest this here mm -hmm. and we build trust through total accountability so um if somebody drops the ball, you can always just like send them to like, hey, core value number five, 
own it. If you say you're going to do something, you got to fucking do something. But yeah. also the, the other thing, and I think a very efficient thing that happened is a very fast acknowledgement that, you know, if you can't commit to it, drop the ball and it works. But be transparent about this. Yeah. Yeah. Not say I got to do this. Like, you know, just. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, I guess it's a combination of own it and transparency. Yep. Yeah. The other thing that I really like is this just. Oh, uh, sorry. I have a good idea. Um, don't, don't drop the ball. Pass it. Mm hmm. Yep. That's a great one. The other one that without sounding, sounding to, you know, Nike, uh, just do it because here's a pattern that I've observed from the very first days, uh, all these amazing, super intelligent individuals join and they, then they, they're shy and think that there is someone who knows it better than them. So they're mm -hmm. kind of like asking me like, Hey, should I do this? You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, we have a, a task map with proactivity, I think we call it. Just, um, proactive. Uh, we say initiative. Uh, we do not hesitate in taking responsibility and improve what can be improved. Mm -hmm. You know, so this kind of like gets the, okay, you know, oh yeah, I had this idea before, like why didn't you say so? You know, <laughs> we, don't, we don't hesitate, take responsibility. The other one that kind of organically um, uh, was created is the one, here's a tricky one. Um, don't solve problems that don't exist. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a, that's a very important one. What's a good title for that? Prioritizing or priorities? Um, customer driven, problem driven, demand driven. Yeah, I guess demand driven. Yeah. Wow. This is shaping up very nicely. Oh, moving fast here. Um, <laughs> um, it's so like I read you the ones that I have in, my, in one of my current businesses. So it's people first, our team and our customers are our number one priority. Customer success, we deliver value in everything we do and set our customers up for success. Love, not fear, we act out of love and not out of fear. Transparency, I already copied this one. Fun and harmony, life is short, so we, we remove things that are unpleasant. So the idea is like if a customer is an asshole, fucking fire the customer. <laughs> if a coworker is an asshole, fucking fire the coworker. You know, if a process is like really annoying, fix the process. Okay. Then um, simple processes, document, run, feedback, improve, repeat. Mm, I love document because a lot of what we're doing, I, when I received the first stats report from YouTube, I was shocked because there was like uh, almost 7,000 uh, minutes watched, which is like 100 something hours of videos mm -hmm. watched. And that's basically like super efficient knowledge propagation. Uh, the other one that is missing here, which is a huge thing, is collaboration. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just collaboration and maybe it's something for the mission. You know, we we are a collaboration or we collaborate. We collaborate. Yeah. And self-organize. Mm. Where does this fit? <coughs> kind of going back to the ants, right? Mm -hmm. Oh man, you can't imagine how fast that idea of uh, ant colony and emergence propagated through through the Slack channel and our discussions. Emer emergency. Mm -hmm. We are we are self-reliant, self-organizing. 
for self-organizing. It's also, you know, to some degree, emergency is also the owning something, you know, and also taking initiative is like a very big part, mm -hmm. you know. Actually, this... I, the part that I loved about the emergence is this, you know, efficient communication that is decentralized. And that's exactly what is happening. People are bumping into each other in different like Slack channels, different conversations, mm -hmm. and then somehow they, they change the roles, they jump places. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. So how do you word this? Um, like the self organize or self organization that takes a place from like different different um collaborative touch points or, or something We're self-organizing groups of people that receive like, signals from other uh, members and that define our purpose. Something like that, you know what I mean? Mm, not fully. Like, because it's always in, in groups, right? It's very hard to collaborate in as just individuals. You gravitate to certain groups which emerge. Okay, we, we are a collection of self, organized groups and collaborate <coughs> to solve the world's biggest nice So what's different between this and the... Uh, it's, oh, it's just like a different wording. It's not, 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 so it's kind of like the same thing. Yeah. And it's, you know, I'll just use this as a notepad, not as the mm -hmm. no perfect thing for it. Mm. We are collection or collective? Collective, yeah. Well, of collective self. intelligence was brought up multiple times in many discussions, mm -hmm. which might be a point too. We are collective intelligence of self-organized groups that solve the world's biggest problems through data. Nice. Right. Like children of self-organized groups that solve the world's biggest problems through data. I think that's a very, very good description point. of groups of experts or, I mean, you gotta be an expert in some aspect. I agree, and it, it's a mix of of that like and here's what i mean by uh, by that like there are people that volunteer to do things that are needed when mm. whenever yeah, yeah i understand i understand like data combing through data doing like 
stupid tasks. Just, yeah. yeah, which like, you know, and it, here's a, an interesting thing. Um, let me pitch this um, concept that is happening. We are working on four different tasks right now in four different teams, but essentially there is redundancy. Like we're working on similar things uh, like there are common things like NLP, natural language processing, that mm -hmm. is happening in, in the same uh, way across four different tasks. But this redundancy enables extreme creativity. And as a result, we get four completely different ways to solve a problem, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. in typical corporate environment would be, wouldn't happen. Wait, yeah, because it would be a waste of resources. <laughs> exactly. Is that a value? Like, is that a process or like? Um, part of your SOP, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, we are self-organized groups. Also have to go, unfortunately. No problem. This has been huge. I I really appreciate your help shaping up Welcome, man. these things. Like I, I'm bad at that. I have them in my mind, but it takes an effort to to put into words. So no, I've, I've done I've done the mission, mission, value finding countless times with with different organizations. So it's kind of right up my alley. Happy to help. Amazing. Thanks, man. Really, really appreciate it. So I'd say mull this over a little bit. And if you want kind of like, um, I'm just going to save this half baked. Um, I would recommend not to have too many core values. I think six, seven, eight is like the maximum I'd have. Mm -hmm. So people can like really remember them. Yeah. So yeah, play with it and I'll also check in. And if you have any questions, just hit me up Perfect. and we can kind of refine this further. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Right. Take care. You too. Bye.